<laughs> time for the reading. Yeah, time for our weekly collective card reading. Mm -hmm. First, we're going to do the angel guidance mm -hmm. for the week. Yeah. Okay. I feel okay. <laughs> go we're gonna do it. We're gonna go with this card first. So it says, "Decide to be happy now." From Archangel Michael. Mm. So a lot of times, you know, I've done this. I know a lot of us have done this. We think, well, when I have my union, then I'll be happy. And this is the thing that you absolutely don't want to do, because the thing that attracts your union is your happiness. So you choose to be happy now, and that's what speeds up the momentum of the manifestation of your twin flame union. That goes for everything. Literally everything, mm -hmm. anything that you're manifesting, attracting mm -hmm. in your life, mm -hmm. you choose to be joyful now. You don't choose for the joy to happen later because that's keeping your good outside of you. And, you know, Wayne Dyer, Abraham Hicks, they all talk about this. Like it's a vibration that you hold within yourself that it naturally attracts your good. So choose the vibration of joy and happiness now. And that's what magnetizes your twin flame to you. Mm -hmm. Do you want to add anything to that? No, that's perfect. Okay. Mm -hmm. I feel like that's been coming up a lot this week, which is mm -hmm. perfect message. All right. The next card is new partner. Mm -hmm. All right. And so the meaning of this card or the meaning that's coming through, I should say, your twin flame union is eternal. Your twin flame was created with you as your eternal lover, your best friend, your perfect partner. And as you deepen into your union and you come home to yourself, your twin flame, there's always going to be a level of newness. And it's impor mm -hmm. important to release attachments throughout the process of that because you're always going to get to know de like deeper depths of your own soul just as much as your twin flame and I think we probably shared this before but we're three years into our harmonious union and it only gets richer it only grows deeper and it's very different from you know a regular relationship as you could say because that stalls out it gets a bit boring it, it, it fizzles out eventually but your twin flame union it doesn't it's there's there's no ending to it and that is just amazing and you can invest all of your love into that safe container and we don't know ourselves who we are exactly so it's always going to be a new thing yeah right when we discover ourselves there mm -hmm. yeah which leads in perfectly to the next car which is rabbit recognize your significance uh by archangel gabriel and this is exactly what I was just speaking to. It's coming home to self. And you can see the unicorn in the in the side there. You are mystical. You are a beautiful divine being. And this is you getting to know yourself. Mm -hmm. Beautiful yeah. little rabbit there. You're divine. You are divine. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then we have our angel answer card. You can take a second. Ask a question. Any question you may have. Pause the video, just wait, I'll share the answer with you. All right. Compromise. Dun, dun, dun. Basically just means in this, um, right here for this week, release attachments mm -hmm. and probably loss of them. You know who you are. So whatever question you had or you asked, it's important to let go of what you think the answer is mm -hmm. because the angels are bringing you exactly what you've asked for. It just might not look exactly the way you thought it was going to look. It's going to be perfect. It will be perfect. Good. So let's move into the divine masculine mm -hmm. energy for this week. So the first card we have is number 22 heart chakra. So the divine masculine is doing a lot of soul searching, mm -hmm. a lot of heart chakra energy and in that process, that's going to bring up a lot of emotions. This card is so funny. <laughs> it is funny, isn't it? But it says feelings, expression, moods, and balance. Mm -hmm. So the divine masculine is moving through a lot of feelings this week. It's a mixture of emotions. And he's also expressing from his heart space with the divine feminine and with anyone in his, you know, reality. Mm -hmm. He's learning how to be his authentic self, which is most attractive to the divine feminine and where he feels most free. 
Yeah, and I feel like this is kind of like as you kind of like are in that hard space and get to know yourself and, you know, go through the levels, like mm -hmm. all these emotions and you're going to be discovering new things, kind of like we were talking about in the angel guidance uh, mm -hmm. um, section of the reading. Yeah, all, all the things come up. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Exactly, which mm -hmm. leads into, you know, your authenticity. Mm -hmm. You are naturally a creative being. So the next card is creativity imagination expression more expression originality and passion mm -hmm. so the divine masculine is creating he's creating in his union he is manifesting what he's been calling in and he is yeah there's a, a breaking you can see like there's a breakthrough occurring there's a, a shattering a, an opening of of an energy it's a process but you can see how kind of like the energy is moving throughout the weeks but you yeah. know we're you know breaking ground here breaking through yeah there's a lot of just passion and expression going on with with the divine masculine right now which mm -hmm. is beautiful especially the emotional component because divine masculines are often very wounded here mm -hmm. they have this idea that they need to be hard and you mm -hmm. know i think we probably talked about that last week yeah um, but it's, is you know, kind of leading into this week as well, that energy, just letting that fall away and knowing that it's safe to be an emotional divine masculine. And that's where your divinity arises from. Good. Mm -hmm. All right. So this week for the divine feminine, the first card is number two, community, family. So I'm sure a lot is coming up around that and, and kind of like that nest nesting yeah maybe around like safety as well since it's like root chakra mm -hmm. and, and you know you see the nest and that's where you know so if you feel into that space do you feel safe where you are right now mm -hmm. and in community and family you know when you kind of like take it first you know within and then you kind of like mm -hmm. go outwards to see how do i feel and the next two cards are both the third uh eye chakra cards so third eye chakra and this one is also that the yeah, mind sure. yeah no. yeah so that's the sign <laughs> yeah so i just feel like this is maybe meditating upon family and community and your safety within that and within yourself going deeper there and 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 this card says openness imagination i think that was imagination over here too yeah, I this. Believe so yeah yeah so yeah it's like a lot going deeper there something with these topics that uh kind of like maybe be coming up or maybe you haven't seen it and you know in meditation there might be something coming up around that and mm -hmm. yeah and you can visualize yourself like are you where you want to be within yourself within your family within your community mm -hmm. what would you want to be different what is your perfect life within that with your twin flame Mm -hmm. so visualizing that yeah getting clear on your vision mm -hmm. and yeah I just feel like there's a lot of introspection mm -hmm. for the feminine this week mm -hmm. which you know really finding her you know your expression your inner expression and allowing that mm -hmm. to flow forth you can really see how there's harmonization and um, oneness in the divine mm -hmm. masculine and the feminine in that space yeah yeah there beautiful energies mm -hmm. okay so thank you for watching this week's collective twin flame card reading we'll see you in the next video